Pisces, welcome into your reading. Thank you for coming in and clicking on the video. This is what your spirit guides want you to get here today or the message they want to give you um, with regards to some situation happening in your world. We are going to be looking at the main energy of what is going on. We're going to be moving into what's going on around you and what we don't see coming, the most fun part of all. So let's get started for you. Remember, if you are going to resonate with this reading, you're going to know really from the very beginning. If not, please go into my playlist for your channel for your zodiac sign you can go choose another video that calls your soul or you can also go check your rising your moon and your venus which is not we're not only our sun signs you must remember we are more than just that so let's get into your reading let's have a look and see what is going on in your world let's see what is happening in your world ten of fire lordy Holy moly, Pisces. <laughs> Let's have a look and see. Ten of fire is ten of wands, okay? Um, too much work, okay? <laughs> um, accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. So there is a problem here in your world that you've been carrying for a while. There's something that's on your shoulders. Because there are ten of wands over here. So you're talking about the weight that you're carrying. Um, the amount of responsibilities that you have, the one thing that has been happening after another thing, after another thing, after another thing, that is continuously going on in your world here. And I think uh, you're just about done with something, or you're just about wanting to put this down. So let's see, if you think that you're going to be here in this kind of energy for, for much longer, I think not. Okay, the Ten of Wands is talking about an ending of a cycle that's related to you being stressed out, you being worried, you, you being the one who needs to fix everything, you being the one that is um, just carrying everything on your shoulders, that is going to be ending, because Ten of Wands is an ending of a cycle, okay, all the Tens, it's the ending of you reach some kind of pinnacle of whatever you're dealing with, and it's going to be over. So I'm actually very, very curious to see what's going to come up in the tarot for you. I want to know, Spirit Guides, what is this chain of wands that has come up here? What is this issue that Pisces has been dealing with? And what is going to happen? Okay, so let's see. Seven of Pentacles, there's a bit of worry there. The World card. So it's something about the weight and what you're doing in this world here. Nine of Pentacles, you do have all the responsibility. It's like the weight of the world is on your shoulders here with regards to keeping something stable. So we're going to look into each one of those cards here. Another chain, the chain of cups is coming here. A knight of swords, you know what you're fighting for. And a page of swords, you've got a new beginning. You got a new beginning coming in here. I'm just gonna see for you. We're gonna put some cards out here. I'm not 100 percent sure if this is a relationship that's gonna be having a restart or um or you're having a new beginning in your own life, you're making some decisions. I actually want to see a bit more information from the spirit guides. So I want to get out this card here. Yeah, there's an ending taking place. That's what I wanted to check. Energy under the deck to get an overall deeper feel here. Whenever you're reading tarot, tarot if you're reading tarot cards, and you're kind of like going, well, what, what, what do you mean? I got you, but what do you mean, spirit guide? Go to the energy under the deck. That will be the overall pull of what you've been shuffling. So I feel like you are going to, or you may have already release something and let it go um the judgment card talks about endings that have taken place and um, negative cycles that have been released um and needing to move now into the future i really do feel like you might be letting go of something here um it's been all on your shoulders and you know what you want and you know what you don't want okay so there's your world card so this is you in your world trying to manifest trying to bring in the world of your dreams and I feel like there has been you again with the Nine of Pentacles here um, coming in. You're doing it all by yourself. Okay. This could be a, re a relationship stability. It could be um, a life stability. It could be um, how hard you're working um, literally in your whole entire existence. I feel like it's so many things for you. I don't feel like it's just a relationship and it's just work and it's just the home and the children and the friends and the parents and the brothers and sisters and just everything. I feel like it's like everybody is wanting you to be the one to save them. Everybody needs you to do something. Everybody wants you for this. Everybody needs some of your energy. If you're in a relationship, you're carrying that whole relationship by yourself. Um, you're doing it all with the Knight of Pentacles. 
um, hopefully not financially, I'm just saying. Um, with the world card coming in here, yes, you're capable, you can do it, but it's causing you quite a lot of stress here. And I feel like you're wondering to yourself, how long can I keep this up? If you haven't done so already, this might have happened already. So it's almost like you're looking at this, all the work that you're doing here, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is worried about um, long-term stability. It's worrying, it worried the world this which will this little tree that I'm trying to to nurture and grow, is it actually going to bear fruit here? Or am I wasting my time? So you really are looking at situations. I'm really curious to see what's going to come up for you here with the outcome, with what we don't see coming, because I'm curious, because I can see you're on the brink of walking away or you have walked away. Okay, because I feel like this is what caused the chain of wands to come in here. Is you doing everything, all that responsibility, and nobody is really giving you any kind of like, it's going to be okay, surety, you know, you just don't know if what you're doing is even going to work, you know. So you kind of, you know, you've got two tens rocking up here, yes, your judgment. So you're kind of like looking at these two tens. And I feel like you're making this judgment call with regards to what's going on in your world. So you've got these two tens here. Um, the judgment comes up, it's an ending of something and a rebirth of something else. So I feel like in this, with the instance of these cards that I've taken, I feel like the ending and the releasing is this 10. You're saying, I'm not doing that anymore. And the rebirthing is the 10 of cups. You're choosing yourself, your happiness, what's good for you. I was like, you're very good energy. So you're choosing to... Like a re it's like you want to press the reset button. So I'm pressing the reset button on my life here. You know what I mean? I'm not going to accept this kind of like um, everybody like on top of me like this. Problems that I need to keep on fixing. Things that just don't want to go right. I'm, I'm putting myself first for once here. And you making these decisions very, very quickly. You're very determined. <laughs> and you're very thoughtful about what you're doing here. You might literally be on the brink of leaving a relationship, to be honest. Or you might have already. You might have said, I'm putting myself first and I'm walking away. Because the, the Ten of Swords is action. So we've got Ten of Swords. Sorry, the Knight of Swords is action. With about the Ten of Swords, okay? And it's literally looking at, or the Ten of Wands, it's literally looking at um, you moving forward in your life. You making new decisions. you got almost like this major focus point of what you're going to do. But you've really thought it out as well. You was like you looked at your book of life over there and you're like going, you know, I don't like what I see here. I think I'm going to rewrite my story. And you're taking actions towards something here, towards a new beginning. So this one, yeah, this one, I want to see what we do not see coming here. Will the past remain in the past? Um, if there's a new beginning and what are you heading towards? What does that look like for you? This could be you leaving a connection um, because the connection is too stressful upon you. You could have already done that and you're moving forward. Even now you might be wondering, where am I exactly running towards here? What is exactly waiting for me in the future? Is there anything we should know about Spirit Guide? Show us the most important thing that my Pisces should know at this moment with regards to choices and decisions that they are making. This is such an empowered energy. This is how you take back your life. It's how you take control of your life. It's how you become an empowered human when you make these kind of decisions. You know what I mean? Um, the Hierophant, not surprised. The Four of Cups, very careful. The Knight of Wands, question mark. The Page of Wands, question mark. <laughs> the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like... Whatever this is, okay, whatever you're deciding to leave behind tries to come back in again. But it's, or you might wonder if you should go back to something. can be a person, can be a job, it can be, you know, things that are not working for you. It's almost like, am I doing the right thing to be doing this? But you've got the wisdom backing up all this entire row of cards here. So you've got major wisdom that's coming up here. Um, the Hierophant is definitely all this energy that I'm picking up on at the bottom. You know, I said when you become enlightened, when you take back your power, when you become a person that is in control of their life, um, you do this kind of thing. And truly, that is the Hierophant. That is the Hierophant. That's a moment of like wise energy. It's that moment where you awaken. It's that moment where you become 
uh, the teacher, the master of life, and you begin to understand what it need, what you need to do with regards to actually becoming happy. And it's scary to do that. And let me tell you, to really go for your happiness requires you to walk away from things that make you sad. And this is why it's so scary. I feel this is a bit of a journey for you still as you're moving on here. I do think that there is something that is going to come in again. It could be a person. It could be a person coming back from your past. The Four of Cups coming in here. It could be a person. It could be you self-doubting as well. If you've made the right decision, if you've made the right choice, um, you might get a bit scared of the vastness in front of you. Okay, because whatever this is to you here, I really feel like this could be a person here as well, but it could also be you. Okay, um, whatever has happened here, whatever ending took place here, whatever decisions you are currently making to change your life, when you do that, it takes a very brave soul to handle such a thing. Be uh, many people will run back. When they, when they get into this energy here like this, they get scared. They will run back to what they know, even if it's painful. Because it's better to go back to the pain you know than something so completely foreign and unknown to you. It's terrifying. And only the bravest of the bravest and the wisest of the wisest people do this. Because where here you were so sure about what you were doing. Knight and a page of swords. We have now got the knight and the page of wands. These two cards are different energy. This is direct. We're looking at swords. So we're looking at clear thinking, clear knowing. I'm going to go for what I want. Laser point focus, going for it, right? And then this is a bit less of that energy. The Knight of Wands is going somewhere, but he doesn't have a map. Okay. It's like he doesn't really know where he's going. So the Knight of Wands, yes, you know, you might want to find out more information. You might even get somebody coming back in here which can cause you to become confused okay something from your past comes back around okay could be this person as well with this energy or something that has been wants to come back in can be friends can be you know do i go back to what i was doing before or do i not it's scary to not know but i also feel like because we've got a knight and a page of pink a swords here this is also your energy so it's really scary to stand on the doorway of the unknown when we're coming from the known here, even though some of the stuff in the known we don't really like. But the unknown, it's so foreign, it's so different. A lot of people will run away from it. And the craziest thing is when we actually step into that energy, that's when the miracles happen. Because you're stepping into untapped potential. The unknown is open. It's empty. And you're going to step into that energy and you're going to be the one that literally creates your destiny. Whatever you're going to do with this unknown energy in front of you, which is just actually emptiness, you know what I mean? Whatever you're going to decide to put in there, it's like you've got an empty house and a good budget, you know what I mean? So you can decorate it any way you want to. This is your life. Go ahead and do it the way you want to do it. And that's where you're standing on. That's where you are. I see you making up your mind. I see you making up your mind. You're going to be looking at what you want. First of all, with the Nine of Cups here, and you want the Nine of Cups. You want to be happy. You want to be proud of yourself. You want to be satisfied. You want to feel like you're in the place and living the world in the place where you're meant to be, living in the world the way you want to be living in the world. That's Nine of Cups. That's proud. Look how he's sitting there, folding his arms. He's like, look at the life I've created. Look at those nine cups up there. Even if you're single, it's like, but I'm happy. Look at the life. Look at what I've done. And then you've got this two of pentacles coming up at the end here. And I feel like you're going to decide what you're going to do here. And you're going to look back at your life and you're going to be like, my past life here, where I'm coming from, before I made changes, before I took risks, before I said I'm taking control of my life here, it was not going anywhere. You've got an eight of swords here. It's just completely blocked um you're restricted in some kind of way something was not growing it can be a relationship that wasn't growing it can be a situation that just was not okay and you're just going to make a decision about that you're going to take this through a pinnacle there and it's almost like the last little bit of the releasing imagine look at this the last little bit of the releasing the last steps of that 10 of wands from your life and then how interesting is this to take this risk 
can involve you moving into an unknown future where you don't know what's going to happen. But you've got nine cups there waiting for you. But you've also got ten cups waiting for you in the future. Okay, so this is what it takes to get here. You fix yourself first. Then you get the love, the house, the car, the kids, the, the puppy and the cat. You know, you first put yourself into the place where it's perfect for you. Then you will find the universe brings in somebody that's also perfect for you. Especially if you're a single person. You do get the Ten of Cups from the Nine of Cups. It requires you to walk away from all you know and understand into a place of emptiness. Into the where possibilities are all around you that's why i love that kind of energy i love the unknown for me when i know i'm about to change something or do something new i love i get so excited because i understand the possibilities are more powerful than the things i really know the future is more exciting for me than the past so i would rather always be changing and moving forward in the future because i know possibilities can surprise you you can be so surprised as how things can actually end up especially if you keep that mindset if you kind of like going oh wow life is going to show me how good it can get i just watch life is going to show me how good it can get and let me tell you something it does as long as you keep that mindset there we go thank you so much pisces i love your reading it's so intense and deep you know what i mean but there we go thank you so much for watching if you want to catch more content from your from me and you get messages from your spirit guides you can subscribe to the channel you can check out your playlist go to whichever reading calls your soul whenever you meant to get a message you will receive it at whatever time it's uh, you in um new channel over there okay pick a card reading channel which i'm having so much fun with um any suggestions for a pick a card comment below i'm just saying and then go check out the channel and i'll do it for you otherwise i will see you guys in your next batch of readings I'm telling my love. Bye.